everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video so today i am doing another kissing up video because why not <laughs> i've got one more set of storage and i'm really loving having multiple diamond paintings that i can just go go with when i want to like decide what i want to do and think what do i fancy doing today what colors do i fancy doing and yeah that sort of thing so today i am kicking up this this is enchanted rose that's what i'm now calling it i believe that's the name uh, but it's the rose from beauty and the beast um and it, as you can see it's already numbered with stickies and that's because i cut these sections um and put them into 25 uh, because if you recall a few videos ago we made this a little pot where you can pull out a number on a coloured stick and that would be like the section that I work on that day so I've already done that if you want to see the video of how I made the the pots and the um how I sectioned up the painting then I will leave that in the description and up in the eye. So, I have got my little trusty um, like pill box containers. These were the first containers that I got when I started diamond painting. Got them with my first diamond painting. And they're just, like I said, old trustees. So here are all the drills, I put the name on the packet just because I had a few loose packets of drills and I wanted to make sure I knew where they were coming from. So firstly, in fact if I just show you on the canvas, because I feel like we may need um, the little table. So there are 20 colours in this. They are all lettered and there are a lot of blues. So what we are going to be doing is basically putting them all in this bo these boxes. Obviously there's 28 in here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill them up as much as I can. And I've got eight spare to play with. So I don't know whether to try to fill multiple um like boxes of them or i've just got a box of baggies um so we'll see we'll see how it goes so for the time being because i'm not really sure how many is going to fit into what i'm just going to get my stickers how many oh pulling one off how many stickers do I have on this sheet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 okay so I have uh, 20 stickers well more than 20 but I have the 20 I need on this sheet so I am going to just write uh, DMC numbers so it looks to me like the bag only have the the number that it corresponds to for the canvas on there so i'm going to need to write the dmcs from the canvas the reason i write dmc numbers when it comes to these little boxes is because they're the things that i'm going to want to use at the end when it comes to storing my spare drills i have a container where i keep everything in dmc number order you can find my spare drill storage video um in the description box i'll leave that as well but yeah so i i store stuff um i store drills via their dmc numbers and these boxes obviously the lids aren't exactly very big so it's difficult to put on anything more than like one label 
with one piece of information on it. 823, 824, 825. So, yeah, that's why I put the DMC numbers on. But obviously, you know, there's a key on the canvas. So, what I would do is say, okay, I want to do this letter next. Um, so, what letter, like what, what DMC number does that letter correspond to? So, I'd look at that. And then I'd pick up that box. So that's how I, how I tend to work it. Obviously, you could be somebody that would only want the symbol on. Um, and that's fine also. I'd probably do that if I wasn't keeping the drills, but I am. So that's why I do it like this. 3072. So only 20 colours in this, but it's going to be a lot of each colour, I reckon. 3752. 3865. Okay, so that's all my 20 numbers. So um, I'm going to still need the canvas out for the uh, like inventory table. And let's get these drills. Oh. There was a couple of baggies. That have just come out and fell on the floor. So. I'm just having a look now. It does seem to look like the bags are in some sort of size order. Um, but they are also in numerical so maybe they're not in size order maybe they are just in numerical and it just so happens that the first ones are the smallest okay so what we're gonna do I think is we're just gonna start do them in order um, and that's how we work it so I'll get my little bin out what I got the other day um, you can see that in uh, one of my unboxings but I didn't really unbox anything <laughs> so we will do from the top we'll do number one I think I'm 100% certain one to six are gonna fit in in order so let's put the labels on for one two three four So it, it actually is okay, I don't really need the canvas because they're in order of DMC number and then that corresponds to the number on the canvas. So if you can see, they're just going down like that. So my stickers should be in order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah, blah, blah. But I can just keep it at the side just to check, but I don't think I will need to stress about that. So put the first four on. Just means if you do if you do it in order like that and you're putting the stickers on and then you like cutting the bags, it makes life a lot easier. It makes everything go a bit quicker if you chunk it up like that. So in that bag goes, yeah, plenty of room in my little like pillbox style containers so yeah I think these are going to be fine it's only the bigger ones that I'm a little bit worried about but we'll we'll see um, how many of the big bags that they actually are um, and how much I can actually fit in these they they do these containers do kind of fool you because you don't think you're gonna get hardly any in them and I mean if you recall me kitting up my elephant paint in sunrise in Savannah I could get like four bags of 200 drills in here so I can fit like 800 drills 
in these little boxes. So that's quite a lot, um, realistically. So they're not as small as you may think. They do fit more in. So that's the first row all done. And let's have a look. So five and six are fine. Seven, we may encounter a problem. So let's just do up to seven so far and have a look. So. Five. I like how number six is all the sixes and it's bright red, which is the funniest thing I've ever found a diamond painting. The person that decided to make three sixes, six, 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 a bright red is a genius, in my opinion. So, yeah. I am just going to do uh, five and six and then what I think I might need to do is get a little tray out or one of my big trays actually to potentially catch any spill out uh, from these this bigger bag. So... That chair makes a right sound. I'm just going into my little wheelie trolley, <laughs> um, storage trolley, and getting my little bag and one of my three large drill trays. They're not the greatest, these like big drill trays, however, they do make it very easy to shake the drill. Um, yeah, it's very nice to shake the drills on this tray and get them all aligned nicely. Okay, so let's see if we can fit this entire bag in here. Oh, no. So, I've done about half the bag. So, what I'm going to do is put them into the, the next one. There we go. So we're going to have to do it like that. So that was quite a full bag and it only fit half in, well, not a bit more than half. You can kind of see this one. I'd say it fits two thirds in the, um, in the box and then I've had to carry it over. So what I'm going to do is not put a sticker on there and I will use up that box first. Um, so let me just have a look how many really full bags we've got because I only have eight spare. So we've got two bags of eight. So I'm only going to open one. Nine's really full, ten's full. Eleven might fit. So we've got one, two, three. 14 probably fit, 15 won't, so 4, 16, no, I've got two bags of 17, so no, and I've lost count, I think we might just do it with the 28 boxes and a couple of them bags that we've got double of, uh, oh no, 19, 20, we'll just have to see how it comes, obviously like I said, I know I've got like some extra bags anyway because I've got two eights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this just on there to one side um, and this one is going to take two boxes because it's a very full bag. So, put as many as I can in that first one. Oh my gosh, might this take 
three. We can't have it take three boxes. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, can I squeeze them? I know realistically you shouldn't really be filling these up ridiculously full. Yeah. But I'm afraid I don't want to have to use three boxes on one colour. There we go. So two very full containers there. And number nine. So for number nine then another full bag so I'm gonna expect to use both of these containers. So we're gonna have to fill it really high up. Try to tap it down a little. Okay, that's as probably full as I'm gonna wanna get it. And then this one needs to be full all the way to the top as well. Oh, got a little spiller. That's why it's good to put it on a big tray so you can catch them. So, yes, it's not going to be full forever, is it? It's just going to be full for a little bit. So, number 10 is going to need two containers, I also think. So, I'm just checking that I am still putting the stickers on right. So, 824 is indeed number 10. Open two boxes. And not as full this time. Both boxes are quite all right. Levels of fullness. Number 11. Right, let's see if we can get number 11 in one. I doubt it. I very much doubt it, but let's just try. Oh, 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 I think it's going to be extremely full, but for the sake of like maybe 10 drills, I'm going to do it. <laughs> That is probably the fullest box I've got so far. <sighs> but you know, it's tight. It is a little bit tight here. So number 12 is 8.90. And this one will fit in fine. So this was number 12. So I've got eight more colours. To go and how many boxes have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got four boxes spare. And I've got to be careful because I do want every single colour already open in one of these pill boxes. So what I mean by that is that I can't be having more than four spare pops because what will happen is I'll get to the end of like 19 and 20 and they won't even be able to go in a pot if I use more than the eight total spare pots I actually had at the start because like I said these have 28 pots and I have 20 colours. So I've just got to be very, very careful. I think 14 may just do it. And fit in one. So number 14 is 9.30. So, yeah. Let's have a look. I'm hoping, oh yes, that will do it. Not even that full. 
There you go. Not too bad. Now, 15, I don't see it happening. So, I feel like I'm going to need two boxes for number 15. So, put the 931 on and I'll open both because it's a very full bag. Okay, but I'll try to fill that up as much as I can and then put the remainder in the second one. So, yep, yeah. so now I've got eight remaining. That was number 15 and five spare cuts. So I've got five, I've got three extra pots that I'm available to use. So, number 16 is going to need two because it's once again a very full bag and also number 17 is but I think what I'm going to do for 17 because we have two bags like that and I should have really done this for number eight I might use a baggie and just use one pot so I'll show you what I mean like with that in a second but then yet again I don't know if I'm gonna have to hmm, let me have a think oh these are very full number 16 there we go Right, so let me have a think. So 18, I'm sure, will fit into one pot. 20 might just, but 19 is not going to. So now I've got one, two, six pots. One, two, three, four, four colours. I've got two spare pots remaining. Let me just restart this because I don't want it to cut out. So two spare pots remaining i'd need a pot for that and i need a pot for that so i don't think i'm gonna have to but watch me need to now you know what either way i'm gonna have to use an extra baggie at some point so it doesn't matter really does it it's just a lot less hassle if i don't have to go through you know an extra pot and bags right but it is what it is i was hoping that i could fit this entire project in these little containers but sadly not um but if it's a few extra bags you know i've got a few extra bags with my other ones that i've kitted up so it really doesn't hurt too much it's not the end of the world I just have to make sure I keep them with my project. That's the only thing ever. Um, but I am quite good at doing that. Keeping the, the spares that haven't gone in the containers. All I've got is it's just some 310s so far. Um, 310s for my Diamond Art Club paintings. One of them I just put in my little accessories kit bag that has like my tray my wax all that stuff that i use like regularly when diamond painting um so that's where like the round ones are and then the other ones i managed to actually keep in my but my, my storage container for the other kit so that's how I've worked that one. I'm trying to get this little drill out. It's gone. Okay, so 19 is going to need the two. And we've just got to hope because then it will be okay if 20 just goes into one container. That's what we've got to hope. 
we go. 19, done. And please, Mr. 20, go into one container. Because that's all I've got left. If not, you're having to go into an extra bag. And I don't want to do that. I'm worried now. Come on, Mr. 20. Oh, a very, very full pot, but all in one. Yay. Okay, so that is this kitted up oh, a nice quick simple one kind of bit of math needed to look at how many containers i had to spare um so what it's ended up with is all bar these two bags because i had two bags of eight and two bags of 17 so all bar them everything's fitted in the containers I have had to use my eight spare pots for overspill. So what I'll do is I'll use the pots with no number on them at first and then I'll move on to the pots with the number. So let's see if they would just nicely sit in this, which they kind of do. It actually makes it more secure. And let me just get one of my large stickers, which I like to write on for the name of the project. Basically, I would take it off of this bag, but it's not, it's not going to come off. So, uh, I'm calling this one Enchanted Rose. Cut this bell rose, and now that is ready to go in my little cart, ready for my diamond painting. And all I do with the rubbish from here is I put it in the clear bag that came with all the drills in it. Because it's really easy to throw in the bin like that. But you see, the reason why I wanted to use my little bin, because I could just put them all in the bags, but you may have seen in other kitten up videos that when you're trying to put all the plastic into these plastic bags, it just wants to jump out at you. So it was much easier then for me to put it in this bin where they weren't constantly trying to escape. And then just at the end throw it all in this bag and then you can seal it straight up. So that is it. Oh, I've got a loose diamond, a rogue diamond. That's going to have to go in the bin. I don't think I can work out. Maybe it's a number 17. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, crap. And I've just opened that and then the lids have come off. So... See, it's a very close match to a number eight, but it's not. I think a number eight is more blue. So I think that's a number 17, which was these ones. If I can open them. There we go. You belong there. Then you belong in here. And you belong in here. All gone. And then pop this back down. And that's it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a bit all over the place. So, yeah. I've got my little stuff ready to do this project now. That was all for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, then please um, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below. Um if you are thinking of doing like this idea uh, with the picking at random a square to do um and yeah i will see you all in the next video